Hello there. So you're here because you might be wondering if a device like this, which is a mirror box, M box, N3, is good for the artistic process. Maybe it'll help you out, maybe not. Let's dive into it, and by the end of this video, I think you'll know whether or not this kind of device could help you. First off, what even is it? So Mirrorbox makes a lot of stream dock style devices, along with a lot of other products, but the ones that really stood out to me were these right here. And in particular, this one. A lot of macro keys and shortcut things for artists have dials. They have some sort of tactility to them. This obviously is no exception. You got a big old dial, two little dials, and yes, you can tap them and click them. You have these two buttons that switch between things. There we go. And of course you have buttons to be whatever you want. And let me show you the other thing here. There we go. And the software to get it all done. For example, does this seem useful to you? Instead of fumbling around the Windows sound settings, if I want to set audio, there, my soundbar is set. Never mind, my headset is set. Never mind, my Galaxy Buds. Oop, my Galaxy Buds are actually not connected, and I actually forgot about that. Good example, though. They don't just force it on. <laughs> Anyways, useful things from the get-go, right? But it gets better than that. The dials are actually incredibly useful for artistic sort of stuff. And things like volume, as you can see my default is right over here. But of course, right now, I'm on the utility page of what I called it. I have more. I have an OBS one for when I'm playing games. I have a start replay buffer and replay buffer, start record and record, stuff like that. And of course, the whole point is my sci folder. There it is. Notice it's not much here. I keep adding as I go, but already this has been super useful for me. And I'll go over exactly why very soon. Right before that, it's so useful having buttons for folders. It's just, it's cool. I like that. Anyways, just so it's said, it needs to be said. This device was actually given to me by Mirrorbox themselves. They did not tell me to say anything in particular. They didn't pay me to say anything. They just straight up gave it to me and they want me to review it as a artist, as a digital artist. All the things I'm going to say are all me, all my opinions, everything. So keep that in mind. And let's get right back to it. Where were we? Oh, yes, we we're about to talk about the main part of the video, but hold up. Aren't you wondering about the build quality? So this is plastic, nice quality plastic, nice quality dials. Rah, they actually feel metal. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of like gaming keyboards are actually plastic. So pretty sure these are metal. If not, I'm, I'm convinced that's kind of a good sign. I would say this is plastic, of course. One gripe I have is basically, let's see, I'm going to try to press a uh, sigh over here. So see, I'm pressing it very lightly. It's actually not actuating. I have to press it a little more. Boop. And there's my files for my sigh folder, stuff like that. I have folders linking to everything. Anyways, let's get back to the other part, the actual sigh config over here. So with that being said, the build quality is not bad. Also, whoop, that's a USB-C cable. And it's like a little, little mount thing. This could go between things here. Notice there's a slight, slight delay between this over here on the left and on the right. Let's do that again so you notice. Press, press. So if you were to use this as like a soundboard, uh, you're going to have the delay. It's not quite as good. If you're going to use it for like what I have here, recording and shortcuts and hotkeys and stuff like that, that you don't need instantaneously, this device is already looking good. So I was actually a dingus. And as I was doing the literal thing I recorded just for this video, I actually didn't have the webcam open with me 
playing with the mirror box. So I'm going to go over the things I was doing at the time in the video. So let me bring up that video and I'm going to go over my art process and how this thing actually helped me out. Off we go. So we are back and here I have uh, some line work of a character from a game that just came out a little bit ago. If you recognize the game, great. Congratulations. It is very fun. If not, let's just get to it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to play a little bit and show you what I was up to. I just highlighted that, which was just me using my typical magic wand tool in Psy here. I like to select outside of the area and you'll see why. I do have an artistic process actual video uh, out there. I'll put it up on the screen somewhere. But uh, this, of course, is my process with the mirror box. So. What I'm doing right now, I'm just clicking, I'm on my tablet, doing my thing. And something happens here. Something, there it is. See, I knew it would happen eventually. So, over here, I actually have this set to invert. This is a hotkey inside. In fact, whoop. That was me. Pressing this. So... Inside, I have it as a crazy, I have so many, so many hotkeys, all right? So I'm at that point where I have to do stuff like Control, Alt, L. Things that are on the whole other side of the keyboard, I gave purpose by giving it a single button press, or in this case, a dial press. So when I press my dial, it inverts the selection. Now from here, you might be wondering, oh, what is this uh, erode and uh, dilate stuff? Well, I'm about to show you with the video. So, notice that's going in and out. So, what I did here was I pressed this for invert, and now I'm going left and right to fine tune it. And fine tuning, this is going to sound so obvious, fine tuning feels great on a tactile knob thing like this. That's something I totally vouch for. And I really, I can't get enough of these things. I know, right? It's like, wow, wow, this person must have, uh, they're talking really, really big on this product. I wonder if they have a, a discount code or something. Well, I'm glad you asked. I actually do. It's XBI Sigma art, but, uh, don't, don't be jumping on anything. You can save 30 bucks and it makes this product 50 bucks, which is, I personally think that's really cool, but Wait to see if you think of some shortcuts that would make it useful for you. Don't just go purchasing it yet. Definitely wait to be convinced. And if I convince you, cool. You could help out my channel by using my code, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about it right now. Let's get back to it. The eroding and the uneroding, the dilating, works really well here with a dial. What else works well with the dial? Undoing. Undo and redo is awesome. And I was using that throughout a lot of this video. Now there's not much right now going on. I just press things like Z for my paint bucket. I uh, The keyboard I have is still mapped to this. It's the other things that I have mapped, like the, the color change, which is control U, which I can't really, I have to kind of look at it to press. So a lot of times, yeah, you, you're not gonna use the mirror box for absolutely everything. I still think having a, a keyboard with your left hand or right hand if you're right-handed, whatever, whatever works. But having something like this to give you more granularity in what you're doing, to give you that more of that shortcut action has been really feeling good for me. And maybe it'll be the same for you. So that kind of brings us to the catch. Uh, what about your artistic process? Well, that was mine. That's kind of how it goes. I found use in these for very particular things. You're going to find use for them in probably very, very different things. And I know if it's useful for you, you're probably thinking about it right now. You're probably thinking about something so cool that I didn't think of, even though honestly the, the erode and dilate thing over here and the invert, super cool. I don't know how I lived without that. Also, having undo and redo here, really cool. I actually could save as by pressing this, but... Once again, my left hand is on uh, control S on the other side anyway. I'm a big WASD guy. Either way you do it. Oh, this is for zoom in, by the way. And when I, t when I tap it, when I tip it, when I tap it, it is basically reset the screen. What about for you? What would you do? 
how would this make things easier for you? I know my process. And honestly, that's about that's about as uh, complex as it could get. I don't need many keys here. This whole thing here is all I actually require along with my keyboard that has all the simple, the pens and stuff. Can you put pens here? Of course you can. Maybe this is all you're using. Maybe you just have this thing that you're just like, you got it, you know, and you memorize the stuff and you're all set. You could set it as a brush size, things like that, if you don't have room for a big keyboard. So this could be used for a lot of that sort of stuff. And I totally vouch for it for the price. Yeah, the build quality maybe is a, maybe a 7 out of 10. Software, a solid, solid 9 out of 10. By the way, the software tour that I have is, it's basically the same as, as this. It's the same software, just a different thing. I'm not going to talk about dials in that video, but the dials work the same way as everything else. So keep that in mind and watch that if you do need more help on it or want to see all the features that this thing has. But in terms of art and the process behind my stuff and uh, all that, all that stuff. Yes, this device is helpful. Yes, $50 is pretty awesome, especially compared to like a Torbox Neo, which is still a cool device, don't get me wrong, or even a Stream Deck. This is a super competitively priced, I can't say words apparently, competitively priced <laughs> device here. And uh, once again, thank you Mirabox for giving me a chance to talk about it, but I, I really, I feel like I don't have much more to say. I optimized it for what I needed, and even that little bit that I have, helped me out. Maybe it'll help you out with all the stuff you do as well. If you have any questions, please throw them in the comment section as always, and I will get to them when I can. If 